Hi friends, this is Leela. Welcome to my channel Leela Webdev. In this video, we will see the different life cycle hooks or methods that are available in the View 3 Composition API. The View 3 Options API life cycle hooks we have already seen in our previous playlists in the View 3 Complete Playlist Guide. So, in the Composition API, is the same life cycle hooks are available or not? Let's try to see it. If you open our Vue.js, let's try to open our Vue.js. So Vue.js, if you are trying to see, if I open this one, yeah, here you'll be able to see the life cycle hooks. So these are the different life cycle hooks that are available in the composition API. Okay. Now there is no before create or created life cycle hook available in the composition API. Why? Because the setup itself is available before create before creation of these all the available uh, these all things so template and all those things so before create and created is not available so that is nothing but normally the code whatever you are writing it is on the before create and created only so unmount and bef uh, before unmount mount uh, be before mount and mounted is available before update updated is available and also before unmount and unmounted is available so these life cycle looks are available in the composition api and cre created and be before create is not available so let's try to see it in the real time for example, let's say that this is our app.view, okay. And in this app.view, uh, let's say that I am having a show counter here, right? So I am having a show counter here. Let's try to make it as a toggle. So here I am making it as a toggle. Now, whenever this show counter, so whenever we are toggling this one, this component will be destroyed and it is again created. If you see the output here, so this is our output counter title and all those things when i click on this one this one is destroyed and when i click here again this component is coming so that means again this component is mounting if you go into the counter counter dot view and here you can write the life cycle hooks so the first one is there is no before create so whatever the code you are writing here console dot log and all those things so these are on the created only now the first one what i want to discuss is the before mount on before mount on before mount okay so this is the first life cycle hook it will be available so if i try if i show you the output so this is the thing console.log before mounted so this one is available when the component instance this is all created and the dom is not yet prepared so then this one is useful so the, this before unmount will be fine the first one is the before unmounted so sorry this one is i am getting uh, somewhat confused before mount so this hook is registered to be called right before the component is to be mounted so when this hook is called the component has finished setting up its reactive state but no dom construction has been created yet. it is about to execute its dom render effect for the first time so this is the thing so these all the reactive state variables are declared but the dom but this template has not been constructed then this before on mount will be called now the next life cycle hook which i want to tell you is the on mounted so this is one of the important thing which we will be using more often so this is the on mounted so here i can write console.log mounted okay so this is the mounted thing so when this mounted will be useful is so this is the this callback is called when after the component has been mounted so when you can consider this component is mounted is all of its synchronous child components so if this component is having all its child components and all those things have been mounted okay have been mounted then this mounted will be called after that this mounted will be called its own dom tree has been created and inserted into the parent container so that is the thing so when the dom and all this is created then this mounted will be <coughs> fired so this hook is typically used for performing the side effects that need access to the components render tree or limiting the dom related code to the client so here so these are the two things now the another one is on unmounted on before unmount so this is the thing now here i can write this is when uh, when the component is about to be removed from the dom on before unmount so this is the thing and another one is on unmounted so this one is also again console.log on unmounted okay. so these are the things which i want to discuss here 
So now if I try to show you the output here, if I refresh this page first time, what it will try to do? So before mounted has been fired and afterwards mounted has been fired. Why? Because this component has been mounted. When I try to delete this, when I try to remove this component from the DOM, see before unmount is fired and also after that unmounted is fired. So now this is how this life cycle hooks will be cut. So again immediately before mounted and mounted will be fired. Now you need to understand another thing is which I want to tell you that so whenever you are trying to use it. So for example, let's say that here I am having the counter title, right? So I will make it as a counter title ID and this DOM element will not be available in the on before on mount. So here you can if you want you can check console.log document dot get element by ID get element and by ID of of like this. So this one will not be available and in the on mounted the on mounted this one will be available on before unmount. So this is about to delete the component right it is not a deleted this will be available and on unmounted. So when the component is completely destroyed this is not available. So we will try to check in what different uh, life cycle hooks this whether this DOM variable is available or not. If you try to see the output here let's remove it first we will try to see the on before mount and also on mounted on before mounted we are able to see we are getting null that means the DOM act the DOM we cannot able to access the DOM in the before mounted but whereas in the mounted we can able to access the div counter title. So this is the thing first one so when I click on the toggle now I am able to access on the on before unmount whereas on unmounted I may not able to access it. So this is the life cycle hooks we have seen that four different types of life cycle hooks like before mount, on mounted, on before unmount and on unmounted. So there are also other two method other two life cycle hooks which are available that is on update on before update and on updated. So whenever any reactive source variable has been changed then these two life cycle hooks will be fired. So first one is the on before update. This is the life cycle hook. So here on console.log on before update and the another one is on updated. So this one will be fired. So why I am using this one is here we are having a reactive variable right that is the reason. So there also we can use it just I am trying to show you console.log on updated okay so these are the things now if I try to show you here I am clicking on this one so now when I click on this toggle counter see on before update it has been fired so the component is going to be destroyed before unmount and unmounted is been fired and or updated is fired here so whenever any variable is trying to change so here in the counter also I think we are having counter data dot count decrease counter increase counter we are having right we will try to use it on before update sorry on before update and here I can use console.log child before update and last one is the on updated so we are using on updated on updated and here I will be having and I can use console.log on updated so this is the these are the two things so here we need to use on updated should be imported yeah so is it imported here on updated is imported on before update is also imported yeah now if you try to see the output now here we are having when i click on this one see child before update updated so this one is firing in the child thing and if i click on this one on before update and on before on, on updated this one is firing on the parent thing so that means what I want to tell you is that here in this one whenever any reactive variable whenever any reactive variable is changing means then on before update. So when it is going to be updated it will fire and on updated. So when it is automatically updated so then it will fire. So these are the different life cycle hooks that are available in the Vue.js. So on before update and on updated and on mounted on before unmount on unmounted. So these are the different life cycle hooks. The beauty of this one in the composition API is you can have as many mounted you want. You can write it. You can write another unmounted also. This one also will execute. So two times the mounted will be executed here. If I try to refresh this page, so you can see that 
mounted and mounted two times this logic will be executed whereas in the composition api we it is a property based thing right so you will be having only one mounted key only but here you can write as and many multiple hooks multiple same hooks you can write it in the composition api so that means you can restrict to the app logic and all those things you can have in a different mounted thing you can write it so this is all about the life cycle hooks that are available in the vue.js there are also other like unactivated and deactivated these are also there I will try to explain you when we learn about the key payload. These all the things I will try to explain you. If you have any doubts or any suggestions, please post the comments below to this video. And if you like this video, please do support me by subscribing to my channel. Thank you.